As an IoT device manufacturer, you want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to configure their devices. You also want to automate any repetitive tasks done by members of your team. Automatic provisioning of an IoT device accomplishes both goals. Instead of setting up connectivity for your customer, your customer triggers an automatic setup by scanning a QR code. In this tutorial, I'll take you through the three steps needed to set all of this up. We'll first create a webhook in Zapier. We'll then look at how to create a QR code using Google Sheets. To end things, we'll connect our webhook with Imnify so that the customer can automatically provision their device using the QR code. From the dashboard, go up and click on the Create Zap button. For our trigger, we want to start out with a webhook. So I'll type in web there and click on webhooks by Zapier, and our trigger event will be catch hook. Click continue, and I'll copy that webhook to my clipboard, and then continue. Next, we need to define the data that we're going to send to this webhook. And to help with that, I created a Google Sheet which will allow us to enter some details, and then it will generate the QR code for us. This sheet, of course, will be linked in the description below. First, we're going to paste in our webhook, and I'll remove that trailing slash there. Then we need our ICC ID, and you can get this from the Imnify portal. From the dashboard, go down to Sim Inventory, and then copy the ICC ID of the device you want to use. Returning to our sheet, I'll paste that in here. I'm going to add the Acme123 model number there. For the serial number, I'll just enter in some random numbers. Our customer will be George, and our customer email will be George at George. Com. For service policy and coverage policy, I'm going to leave those blank for now and I'll show you why later. And then I'm ready to scan that QR code. There we go. Heading back over to Zapier, we can now test the trigger and we'll see the data from our spreadsheet. We can now continue. For our action, we want to do that in Imnify, so I'll type in Imnify there. For action event, we want to create a device and continue. And for the account, I'll use the account that I've already connected. Continue and we can match the data. For the ICC ID, go ahead and select the query string I there. Device name, I'm going to use the model underscore customer name. Enable device on creation should be yes, because you want the customer to be able to use the device immediately after they scan this QR code. Now for service policy and coverage policy, you can either select a policy for all of your devices, or if you want to do a custom policy, you need these IDs for the policies to add to our spreadsheet. So here I'm going to add the 447245 ID to our spreadsheet. I'll type in 447245. We have that all set there. And now we need to add our coverage policy. Go back to Zapier, look at our coverage policy here, and that's the 429289. So I'll type that in here. Now returning to Zapier, instead of selecting one of the options here, I'll go into custom and I'll choose the serve query string there, which currently has no data. And then for coverage policy, I'll go to custom and I'll select the query string cov. For the IMEI lock, if your SIM card is going to stay in that device forever, you'll want that to be yes. If it's going to move between devices like my demo sim does, you'll want that to be no. So adding tags here, I'm going to add my customer as a tag. And depending on your data privacy rules in your region, you may not want to do this part, but I'm going to go ahead and also add the customer email there. Now I can click continue here, but before I test this action, I've got two empty fields, which will be a problem. So I need to go back over to my sheet here and scan that QR code again. With that scanned, I'll go back over to Zapier, jump up here, test trigger, and I'm gonna load more. And here I have that recent scan, request B, and I'll continue with that. Going back down to our Imnify item here, I can now test and continue. And an ICC ID was just sent to Imnify. I can return over to the portal, go into connected devices. So here we have our Acme123 George with George and George's email address. However, our device is not online. So how do we get that to work? What's great about IoT devices is you can configure their connectivity using SMS. In fact, you can use SMS to configure other items on the device as well, which is what we're gonna automate in the next step. Going back over to Zapier, we now need to add another step. So let's get rid of this box there and click the plus button. I know the Zap's ready, but it's actually not. So I'm gonna go back to setup and I'm going to click on Imnify. Then we want to send an SMS as our step and continue. Next, choose the connected count and continue. Now to set this up, we just need to add the ICC ID from the same hook here, add that in, and then the message text. First, we need to set the APN to EM. 
set the OTA server to get updates from updates.george.com, tell it to get an update, and then set some device parameters. With that set, I can now set my SMS source. I'm just gonna type in one, two, three, four, five for that and continue. Next, I can send that SMS and we're all set. And now when we return to the Imnify portal, we can see that we're connected and everything's working. In fact, if you go over here to the open SMS console, you'll see that the SMS was sent. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you have any questions regarding the content in this video, use that comment section below. I'm very happy to answer those for you. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna get more videos like this, more videos about IoT tech, IoT trends, and of course, Mnify.